Do you want to grow plants in an aquarium without carbon dioxide, liquid fertilizers, root tabs, or any kind of fertilizers? You must know how it works. A month ago, I noticed that the plants in the aquarium have slowed down their growth. Their leaves don't grow as big anymore. The few red plants that survived the aquarium are not so red anymore. So I decided to do this. Starting from the idea that this aquarium is an ecosystem, where the amount of nutrients is limited, the nutrients being produced by biological, chemical, physical reactions in the aquarium. But in order to give the ecosystem time to restore these nutrients, I reduce the number of plants in the aquarium. More plants require more nutrients. Fewer plants in the aquarium, there will be more nutrients for those plants. You can find all the details in this video. A month later, after trimming, look how the plants look. I came just back from holiday, and that's how I found the aquarium. Everything looks good, but I was afraid that without a filter, with few plants in the aquarium, the gases accumulated in the substrate will kill my fish. I also expected the aquarium to be invaded by algae. But it seems that somehow the balance of the aquarium is stable. If you're new here and you haven't noticed yet, I don't use a filter in this aquarium. The only equipment is this LED lamp. The experiment started last month showed that there is a lack of nutrients or just maybe there are too many plants in the aquarium. Anyway, the truth is somewhere in the middle. But by chance, I made another discovery, which I did not expect. Let's quickly see the difference between some plants. Then I will show you something much more important than nutrients to have beautiful and healthy plants. I noticed that there are more floating plants. Red root floater seems much healthier. What is seen here are the roots of the floating plants. They have never been so long in this aquarium. They reach the substrate. Another interesting thing is this red plant. Although it is the same plant, it has much more intense colors. The plant that received more light colored more red. I will remove the floating plants a little to better see the other plants in the aquarium. Hornwort grew, but not that big. It usually had a faster growth rate. But let me tell you something else about this plant. Under ideal conditions, it can grow up to three meters. Elodea densa is the plant that does not grow in the aquarium as it should. It is a plant that is not pretentious, but nevertheless, it lacks something to grow as it should. You can see that it is growing in height, but its leaves are much smaller than they should be. This is how it looks a year ago. But the surprise came when I tried to put a piece of the trim plant in a box with water that I keep on the edge of the window. I noticed that the plant put in that box a month ago grew bigger than the plant in the aquarium. In the box on the window, I don't even use substrate, pure and simple. I throw some of the plants out of the aquarium there. Why? Why did the plants in the box on the edge of the window grow more beautiful? It is the same reason why one of the red plants in the aquarium has more intense colors. This aquarium was inspired by the Wallstad method and I used potting soil as a substrate. For this reason, I expected that the substrate being one year old would exhaust its nutrients as I read somewhere. But this fact, discovered by chance, convinced me that light is much more important. 
In fact, light is the most important for the growth of plants in the aquarium. For this low-tech aquarium, it seems to me the most difficult to find the ideal recipe for the best light. I thought I found the best settings for the LED lamp because I got rid of the algae just by adjusting the colors and the intensity of the light. But it seems that not only the algae were affected by the new light settings, but also the plants in the aquarium. Now, I'm only thinking about the fact that Diana Wallstad, in her book, Ecology of the Planted Aquarium, a practical manual and scientific treatise for the home aquarist, talks about the fact that the aquarium can also receive light from the sun. But although I want to benefit from the advantages of sunlight, living in the United Kingdom, where the weather is very unstable, I find it very difficult to control the amount of light that reaches the aquarium, so I will rely only on the light from to the LED lamp. In a few weeks, I will increase the intensity of the light, but I will also plant some red plants to see if it is possible to grow red plants in an aquarium without adding fertilizers. Although many say that you can grow red plants without CO2, I also tried, but my red plants died. You can see in this video from this YouTube channel more details about growing red plants in low-tech aquariums, dirty tank, Wallstad method. And to better understand the impact of light on plants, take a look at what this brightly lit aquarium looks like. For those who didn't follow me from the beginning, I gave up the strong lighting to keep the algae under control. And if you don't want to miss other valuable tips, press the subscribe button now. I didn't talk about the lighting duration. I mentioned Diana Wallstadt again, who believes that a long lighting time is good for low-tech aquariums. Even though I tried to light the aquarium 12 hours a day, after a few months, I reduced the lighting time, not only because of the algae, but also the plants seem to have absorbed enough light. Who is more experienced can know that plants tend to close their leaves after they have absorbed the necessary amount of light. We are approaching the end of this episode and I can give you the following advice. To have beautiful and healthy plants in a low-tech aquarium, you need the right light. But finding the right light is not so easy. My aquarium is a year old since I started it, and I'm still trying to find the right light for it. As I said before, the next step is to increase the intensity of the light and see if it has an effect. I also want to see if the aquarium maintains its balance. Here, I mean algae. I want to see if the algae will invade the aquarium. Thank you and see you next week.